I'm with consultant director of rugby, Steve Diamond at Kingston Park. Um, Steve, firstly, welcome to the club. Um, what is it that's drawn you to Newcastle Falcons? Well, the uh, effervescent media manager was a lure. Uh, I've been coming here for many years, not won many games here, to be fair, and I uh, always had a bit of banter with him. But uh, apart from him, a great opportunity, I think, to, uh, to try and put some consistency in the building um, and work with a youthful squad moving forward over the next couple of years. So uh, uh, a lot of opportunity for me, current coaches and current players to prove themselves over the remainder of this season and the summer and moving into next. Um, your title at the moment is Consultant Director of Rugby. Can you just explain a bit about how that works and what your role is here? Yeah, well, I think, I think I've been consulting now for three years. Worcester, um, Sale, Edinburgh. And I think it works well for, to do a report for the owners, see where we're at, be honest and candid about it, and uh, players' ability, coaching ability, and how we can... Uh, move forward with it and it's worked well for me so far so if that carries on then I'll sit down with uh, Seymour Curdy and discuss staying for a longer time but initially it's uh, a short term contract looking to go for a couple of three years after that. So will you be out on the training pitch doing the coaching or will you empower that to the coaches or a combination of both? A combination I think I think where we are in the league and where we are um Confidence-wise, we need to build on that and get some belief back into the squad, uh, get some consistency in the building, how we do things around here, uh, try and put an hard edge back into the building because that's, that's certainly lacking from watching games. Um, and look forward to doing that from Monday onwards. It's a bit of a quirk of the fixture list this time of year where we've got two months without a a competitive game, but I suppose in the situation for you coming in, it, it could be quite helpful. Yeah, very helpful. I think I think with the nat natural attrition that's happened in the league with three teams going by the wayside, we now have ourselves what everybody's really wanted, which is a de-conflicted international season, uh, where you, you clubs aren't playing and your internationals are away. So it gives us a break. Um, of six to seven weeks so for me coming in it's nothing better than uh, seeing, seeing what the attitude of the building's like first hand from Monday morning onwards and we'll, we'll see what that's like and how we can improve it. So what have you found so far? I know you've not worked with the players yet because they're away this week but in terms of the infrastructure at the club and the kind of positive things... Yeah, no, very know. good. I think um, I think I think any club that has a facility like this, notwithstanding the weather, because we have to put up with that in the north of England, but the training, the training facility is very good. The gym's outstanding. Um, the analysis department looks very good. So we can take a lot of excuses away from the players and staff. Uh, staff are keen. Um, we need to move away from the element of a blame culture and and find solutions to why we're as poor as we've been, if we're honest, and, and put those solutions in play. And, and I think that's the exciting part of the job for me. And uh, no doubt there'll be a positivity around the place, people wanting to prove that they want to be part of a successful club. And, and, and I wouldn't have got involved unless I thought I could change that. Um, people talk about the financial side of the game. I mean, nobody knows that better than you after what you went through at Worcester. Um, how has it been explained to you about what the sort of challenges at Newcastle and obviously how comfortable are you with that? I think it's the first question we talked about uh, when I met with Matt Thompson and Seymour Curdy and they were they they enthused that you know they we're here for the long term you know their pride the family's owning the business for such a long time uh, they want it to be a sustainable business and they know I operate in that field well and have done um, and you know perhaps we won't spend the same as some of the other clubs on player salaries but I think that's the right thing to do with the number of kids that come through the origin counties up here 
Cumbria, Northumberland, Durham, Tynan Weir, etc. You know, the plethora of kids that come through to be Newcastle Falcons and England players. There's no other, no other region in the country that produces kids. So I'm looking forward to building a young English team that wins at home on a regular basis. Um, you're famously a proud northerner. You've, you've spoken about this many times before. Like, Why do you think it's so important to have a northern presence at the top end of the game and how can you sort of tap into that? Well, I think people don't really understand the statistics, but of the 1,680-odd players who've played for England, over 1,100 of those come from the north. And, and whether schooled, parentage, club, working, but they, they come from this neck of the woods or from the Midlands up. So I think it's uh, England certainly are, if you certainly see it as a, a geographical necessity. Um, but notwithstanding that, you know, it, it, Newcastle is a, a, similar to Manchester, it's a working class, hard working environment and the city centres are fantastic, both of them. You know, and, and it's a great crack, but it breeds hard people. And, you know, I want to find as many of those I can to play rugby in this area as I possibly can. Um, you've spoke about you hoping to be here for the long term and sort of building long term stability and success. Looking at the short term, we've got six premiership games left between now and the end of the season. What are you hoping to see during that time? Well, I'm hoping to see us highly competitive. If we don't win, we... We get losing bonus points by being within seven points. Uh, the game's at home. I want to I wanna be really awkward and make it difficult for teams who are coming up here to think we are rubbing rags at the bottom of the league. Well, let's see what they're like when they leave here. Um, I can't ask for yellow or red cards anymore, but uh, I'd like to see uh, as much legal violence as we could possibly get into the games at home where um, teams will, will build our reputation where uh, you've got to be a very good team to win at Kingston Park. Steve, it's great to have you up here. Uh, welcome to Tyneside and uh, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.